This morning on Create with Quimby, our DIY expert Shannon Quimby has a new project to help brighten up your winter. Uh, she made this beautiful wooden lantern that's sure to add some elegance to your home. Absolutely. Shannon joins us live right now to walk us through how she crafted this homemade lantern. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning, you two. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just, doing just great. great. Excellent. Okay. So, yes, that's exactly. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to show you this really easy peasy DIY that does. It's a nice cozy um, project that actually can go from winter into the summertime. So it's kind of a year long project that you can enjoy for the whole year. Okay, and I see it right next to you and just a f few materials in front of you. So yes, yeah, what materials yeah. are needed? So you basically want to start with, this is a three quarter inch um, square molding and you want about nine feet long and then also just one piece of flat piece of board this is about a half inch and have this cut at seven inches so i go down to uh, par lumber on mlk um talk to kent tell him i sent you and he'll hook you up okay great so um you can use a chop saw aka miter saw you're going to need four pieces at 14 inches long and you're going to need eight pieces at five and a half inches long now, the great thing about this DIY project, now, you know, you don't have to have that. If you want something shorter, you can make it adjusting to what your style is or to the space that you use. I like to use a tall one because then I can use different sizes of candles in what I want to do with the DIY project. Okay? So, the next step is, is that you just take some glue, and this process, it repeats. What you're going to do is you're going to glue, clamp, nail, and you're going to do it three times. So the first thing is you're going to take two of the 14 inch and two of the five and a half, add a little wood glue on the corners of the smaller pieces, and you're going to make a rectangle shape. It's kind of like, I don't know about you guys, but I had building blocks when I was a little kid. Yeah, and yeah definitely. Yeah. That, that makes and sense. So, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, this is an easy clamp six inch um, a quick release. I love these. And after you put the glue on um, the corners, you just clamp it together and then you let it dry. And you're going to make a, a rectangle shape like this. Really easy, simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let it dry. So when you're done with that, I'll set this down. You're going to repeat the same process and make two of them. So you're going to have two rectangles. All right. Now, to reinforce, just get a um, one inch finish nail and a hammer. And I've started one right here. And just want to tap in the corners if you want to, to reinforce them. So it makes them really sturdy and durable so you can use it all around the house. Right, keep it sturdy, yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So now we've used most, last, most of our uh, pieces. We have four left of the five and a half. And once again, glue, clamp, nail. So you put glue on the edges and we're going to build, we're going to build with our little building blocks here. <laughs> little Lincoln logs. And put, I know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh God. I love Lincoln logs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I still have mine. I still have my original ones, which are probably worth a lot of money right now. Yeah, oh, they I, probably are. They're collector's items. Yeah. yeah. Keep those or mm -hmm. sell them. Sure. I'll keep in mind. So, so here we go. So we got a rectangle frame box and I glue, clamp, and nail. So that's an easy step. I'll break it down. And you and then you let it dry and it becomes like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Easy peasy. Now here's the last, remember I mentioned that base, yes. that uh, seven inch square. Same thing again. You're gonna put it here. That'll be your base. You're gonna center, measure and center. Whoopsie. Glue, I, my own steps. I forgot my own steps. <laughs> glue, clamp, nail. Do not forget there the glue. Go. Thank you, Emma. You, <laughs> thank you for listening. <laughs> glue, clamp, nail, exactly. And then let it dry. And then the last fun thing, I know you can do, this, the, the great thing about DIYing is you can change it into whatever color you want, whatever shape or size. Um, I use this Rust-Oleum. This is a satin dark walnut, and I just spray painted it to have this nice color. So it actually even looks kind of like metal. No, that's beautiful. And isn't that fun? 
I like, I mean, I've been so lazy in decorating my apartment. I have a couch and a TV, and I've been here for five months. <laughs> After this weekend, well, I'm going to have a lantern. Uh, yeah, I hear you. A lantern, yeah. yeah. That looks With beautiful. With a, uh, a, a flameless candle, because it is wood. Yes. So if you wanted to, right, if you use a candle, a, a real candle, make sure you put a glass cylinder over it, you know, because it is wood. But these can be... You guys, these are really expensive. If you go into some of the retail shops, oh, yeah. you know, and this is just pennies, you know, this is like under 10 bucks. Oh man, beautiful. And it's easy to put together. It looks great. It could go around uh, any room in the house. Uh, just remember, use a uh, fake candle instead of a real one so you don't burn that and the house down. Oh God. So <laughs> That's right. All right. And if you don't want to buy one, I'm giving this away. So oh. remember this one, and I'll finish this one. So we got two. So just go on Car Lumber's Facebook page, take two people, and give them away. All right. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Fantastic. Shannon Quimby, uh, we love it when you come on the show. Show us how to do stuff. Uh, Happy New Year to you. And for your chance to snag one of those lanterns, be sure to check out Shannon Quimby on Facebook. Yes. And, yeah, if you want to make one for yourself, we have all the instructions that you're going to need at coin.com.